Hey, what's going on, guys? I'm Ryan D, aka Ryan 680, and I'm about to talk about Smile 2. Let's go, baby! This movie is good. Let's go! First and foremost, guys, you know what to do. Like, share, subscribe to me and my Alamo City Movie Talk crew. And do not forget to comment down below what did you guys think of Smile 2 and everything. But let's get right to it. Let's get to the nitty-gritty. Smile 2 is highly anticipated sequel to the 2022 horror hit Smile that originally came out back then. Continuing the terrifying story with fresh characters. But here's the thing. Smile, when I first saw this movie, I recently saw this film. I know it was one of the movies that I really just did not get a chance to see when it first did come out. Uh, but I got to admit, though, the jump scares got me. Was this what I consider this the best horror movie? It made the most money during that time, 2022 and everything. And it's been two years since the sequel. And it's it's it was a huge, huge, uh, like just huge accomplishment and it really exceeded my expectations after watching smile back into uh smile that came out in 2022 but let's get right to it now it tells of a story with a terrifying story with fresh characters this time the story follows naomi scott as a pop star whose life takes a dark turn when she becomes the target of the same smile also return adding to the chilling atmosphere directed again by parker finn the sequel ramps up the tension and expands on its original psychological horror elements smile 2 is set for release date coming this friday Friday on October 18th, 2024. One of the things I do really want to highlight a lot in this movie is this is a Naomi Scott movie. This is such a good movie, guys. I don't know what more I can say about this film is that it's so good. It's so great. Uh, now, before before um, I get a lot of comments and a lot of questions, now I know I'm going to get asked this a lot because I do. Is this scarier than the last movie? Now, I got to say, the only answer I can really give is what's your... Because, you know, scary movies are subject it's subjectivity, right? Just like movies and everything. So I do want to emphasize, if you are more into the horror aspect of like creatures, jump scares and all that stuff, which is great. And, and the first one gave us so much of that rich uh, character development. And we, and we got a lot of that rich uh, jump scares. And it was very terrifying. And even the jump scares got me and I was terrified. But anyways, um, now, is this really, does this have as much jump scares as the first one? I'm going to say no. I'm going to say, was I as terrified? No. But here's the thing. When it comes to psychological elements in this movie, this movie hits it out of the park. A 10 out of 10. Psychological moments are where it leaves you at the edge of your seat. Naomi Scott does such a phenomenal job making this movie. I don't know what more I could tell you guys. Naomi Scott kills it. She really puts you into this like... Uh, she's an artist, a famous artist that's coming back from tour, uh, that's really trying to really bring back her tour after a catastrophe that does happen in her life. And of course, that's what the demon or uh, parasite, how you, however you want to call it, really attaches to people. So it really attaches to that part of her life that she really has has moved on per se, right? But it really attaches on that dark element and it really leaves you at the edge of your seat to where like, what is real, what is not? Psychologically, this movie does it for me 110%. I really enjoyed my time in the theater watching this movie because it is so good. And of course, the smile moments just get you. They get you. You know, you know what I'm talking about. But also, they really touch up on more of the more of the uh, struggles that you do, especially what she was going through a lot. They really touch up on behind the scenes, maybe a little small tidbit backstory here, which I really did like. But they don't give us too much, though. They don't. And I love that, though. Who would have thought a franchise like this of a simple smile, you know, by Parker had, could, could really, really make this a franchise of a film because how great the first one really did and how it really exceeded everyone's expectations because there was none now going into the smile too though did i have expectations yes i did and they really exceeded it guys and i cannot wait for all you moviegoers to check out this horror film this is definitely going to be on my top 10 movies of the year now i haven't done uh my top 10 just yet that's why i keep saying top 10 movies but this will definitely be a part of it and i cannot wait for you guys to talk about this movie once again but i'm, I'm excited to, to have this movie in theaters because the marketing was so good i mean they literally had people just standing in markets uh um in uh in New York, uh, and they were just smiling the whole time. Even at baseball games, they had it. I mean, the marketing was just brilliant, and it really cost nothing because what's a simple smile? Just have one smiling the whole time. I mean, I'll do it. I'll give. I will get paid for that. But anyways, uh, long story short, guys, thank you so much for watching, and let's get right to it. So was this the film that we deserved? I'm going to say yes. This was definitely the film that we deserved, guys. I cannot uh, say that message enough. And yeah, 
I was scared. Oh, yeah, I was. I was terrified. There was some moments where, like, wait, is that real or is that not? And I love it when movies make me question their own reality. And I feel like that that really, really gets me sucked into that world or sucked me into Naomi Scott's shoes. And I love that a lot. And she really did a fantastic job in here. And of course, you know, Parker Finn, the original creator of the first one, came comes back and really shows us something different. That's the thing, though. With sequels and everything, they have to show us something different. And I feel like this movie did reach that on, on a higher level and everything. And I feel like this is a better sequel. Um, now, if you're going to compare the two, though, I'm going to tell you right now. I'm going to tell you right now. Because I'm a huge Naomi Scott fan, Princess Jasmine in the Disney, she did the remake, uh, the live action. If you are, if, if someone were to ask me right now, because of how I'm feeling. Smile one or smile two, go. I'm gonna say smile two because Naomi Scott just sucks you right into the edge of your seat and just really entertains you in so many different levels. But I'll leave it at that, guys. Rating one out of 10, 10 be the highest. I'm gonna give this a solid nine out of 10. Yeah, that's right, guys. Nine out of 10, guys. Thank you so much for watching. And let me know in the comments down below. What do y'all think? Let me know down below, guys, because I wanna talk movies with every single one of you guys. And do not forget, like, share, subscribe. And this is definitely the movie that we deserved. And I cannot wait for this movie to come out and it's coming out the perfect time october halloween season weather's finally changing up here in san antonio texas and do not forget guys uh let, let me know in the comments all right don't forget all right have a good one guys and see you at the movies latest